Are you in the market for a new laptop? Maybe a 13 inch framework laptop? Do you have far more artistic talent than I do? And do you like the KDE project and want to help out in some way that isn't just writing code? Well, Plasma 6 is on the way and should be released sometime next year. And right now, the KDE project are holding a wallpaper competition. This was announced by Nico Love, better known as Nico Loves Linux over on YouTube, who for some reason has not done a video on this. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Calling all artists. Plasma 6 release date is getting closer, and we still have no wallpaper to use, but we're going to change that with your help and this contest. We are calling on all artists to submit their original wallpaper designs and compete for the chance to win a brand new laptop. See below. The contest will be open for three months, starting now. That being eight days ago, and will last until 2359 UTC, 14th of November. Do keep in mind the time zone if you're one of these people that like to, you know, leave things until the last minute. Don't use the wrong time zone. We'll look at them in a moment, but so far there have been a bunch of really cool submissions. But what are the themes? Trustworthy, i.e. reliable, stable, and dependable. A reflection of me, i.e. personalized, familiar, comfortable, fits like a glove. And personal growth, i.e independence, level-mindedness, and critical thinking. But you should not feel constrained by the themes. Quite the contrary. The goal is for them to inspire your design and maybe help evoke these feelings and thoughts in the viewer. But you should take the abstract nature of the ideas as a way to freely express your creativity in your design. So don't take them as like a hard deadline. Like, what does it mean to be trustworthy? What does it mean to have personal growth, just use them as like a guiding principle. They're intentionally vague. I want to keep this video really positive, so I'm just going to focus on these submissions that I think are really good, and maybe have some minor critiques for. Even if I don't mention it, it doesn't mean the submission is really bad, but there are some in here where it seems like they were literally zero effort, just submitted for the purpose of trying to win a laptop. This is the first one I really like. Abstract, colourful, modern style plasma wallpaper, which kind of sounds like an Amazon listing, but the short name is Oversaturated Brilliance. I think this looks really cool, and the purple really pops out. There is also a light version of this, which I don't like as much. This one. I think the styling is super cool. Also, this is the vertical version as well. I think the styling is really cool with the hexagonal shapes in the background, with the KDE logo, with the six here. All of that stuff looks really cool. But going from this, like, super saturated version to this version that feels really washed out, this isn't the light theme I would imagine. I would have imagined one that also really pops, but happens to be a brighter color. Also, I don't really like the idea of green and yellow. I think this would be a lot better if it's in the general blue being used for KDE. Important note about logos and numbers. In the style section it says, we'd recommend avoiding text elements in your wallpaper, such as plasma or even six. However, this is not a strict rule. If it works with your style, then it works. Similarly, we would recommend avoiding logos overlaid on top of the wallpaper. If you do decide to include a logo, it should integrate with the design and not be used for quick identification. And I think in this case, it definitely fits into the style. And here is another logo wallpaper. This one is a lot more subdued. Unlike here where the entire wallpaper is screaming at you, it's called oversaturated brilliance, with plasma glass, the main focus is on the plasma logo, making use of this sort of glass aesthetic and the plasma colouring. This style of wallpaper isn't something you see super commonly nowadays, but if you go back and look at wallpapers like this and plenty of others, you will see at one point this was super popular. I don't tend to run default wallpapers, but this would be a really safe wallpaper to ship. No one would really say, oh, that's an ugly wallpaper or anything like that. It's just, this is a good plasma wallpaper. 
And here is a very different one. This is a very dynamic wallpaper. It's got a lot of different layering, and I think the light version of this looks really, really cool. There is also a dark version, that being this. Now, I think a dark version of this could work really well. But instead of making everything really, really dark, go with more of a dark blue or maybe a purple. Going with black here makes a lot of the elements sort of blend in together and loses what makes the light version really, really cool. And this is cloth, which suffers from a very similar issue. The light version works really, really well. And they did make an original dark version, which is basically just them turning down the brightness. They got some feedback on this and came up with another idea, that being this version here. Once again, I feel like it's gone a little bit too dark. It's taken away from the idea of being a very inviting desktop and more of something you want to kind of avoid. Like, this looks like a place that you don't want to be. I think the concept is really cool, just going with colours that aren't as dark. Maybe a dark grey and a dark blue, but not full-on just enter the void. Here is another relatively safe one, Hexawall. This is a concept you've probably seen done countless times before. This is the light theme, and this is the dark theme. I think this is the first one that really gets the idea of dark theme in a way that still feels inviting. Like, this is a dark version, but it doesn't feel like you're going to be absorbed into the system. Like, this is just a really good-looking dark theme. The one thing I don't like... And I know there is a person here that really likes it. I don't like the yellow. I would like to see this in the KDE blue. I think that would work really, really well, especially with the dark version. Now, the last one, I think, is an absolutely incredible wallpaper, and I kind of want to run it myself. But I don't think it's a good KDE wallpaper. This is a Borealis... This is the dark version, and this is the light version. This is really, really cool, and the artist did a lot of great work for this. But I don't know how well it would work in the context of KDE Plasma. I lied, there was one more, I didn't read my notes properly. This is triangles. This is the light theme, and this is the dark theme. This is a very geometric wallpaper. The only part I think looks a little bit off is this supposed to be shadow thing here? I don't think that's how that shadow would work, but maybe that's just me. This makes use of the plasma coloring with green, blue, and red, or orange in this case. This is a wallpaper I could very much see winning. But if any of those wallpapers I shown won, I don't think anybody would really complain. Now, if you plan to submit a wallpaper yourself, please follow the rules because otherwise you are just wasting people's time. So, the wallpaper must be original, created specifically for this contest, and released under the CC BY SA 4.0 license. Therefore, no submissions using AI art will be accepted. There already has been at least one that did use AI art, or at least really looks like it did. The minimum required size for wallpapers is 3840 by 2160, though 5120 by 2880 is preferred. The vertical wallpapers should be at least 1080 by 2280. So if you have a 1920 by 1080 image, do not submit it unless you have a higher res version. Just this is the minimum, at least that size. And if asked, you should be able to provide the source files used to create the wallpaper in a non-proprietary format, like an Inkscape-compatible SVG, a .blend, a .kra, a .xcf, and things like that. As for the judging, judges for the competition will be selected from the KDE Visual Design Group and other esteemed community members. Wallpapers will be judged on artistic merit, originality, and adherence to the design themes mentioned earlier. At the end of the submission period, six finalists will be selected for a second round. Artists who make it to this stage will receive a small prize, a KDE t-shirt, and actionable feedback from the judges. So like, you know, in this one, maybe it's too dark and things like that. 
the artist will be able to upload different variations addressing the feedback. This stage will take between one to three weeks. At the end of it, a winner will be selected and announced. The winner will get a 13 inch framework laptop. Also, even if you don't win the competition, your wallpaper may be included in Plasma 6 or other future releases. So if you have some artistic skills, hopefully at least a little bit more than I do, I wish you the best of luck in competing. Please just follow the rules. They're very simple rules. Just do it. If you don't do it, your submission's probably just gonna go in the bin. I have mentioned it a bit here and there, but I am kinda considering trying out KDE when Plasma 6 comes out. Nothing is confirmed, but hey, if maybe you wanna see me running your wallpaper, see what happens in the competition. So, let me know your thoughts. What do you think of the wallpapers I showed you? Do you think they're pretty good? And have you submitted your own wallpaper, or are you planning to? Let me know in the comment section down below. So if you like this video, go like the video. And if you really like the video, and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon scribes and the Perivay link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and... The KDE Project didn't pay me, but they probably should. Daytime,